Jaden, talk to us a little bit about what the mood in the dressing room was after the previous game and what was the coach and the rest of the management telling you guys? Mm. Um, the spread wasn't too good. For <laughs> me personally, I was down knowing that we could have won that game because we had the game to win as far as I thought, but the spread wasn't too good. But the night, the night after the game, all the boys came together, we went to the team room, we had a games night, we watched movies. So I think we gelled very, very well after that and we came back well today. Very nice. Uh, Bishop, when we see this team from outside, what can we tell them considering that this is the last few games in the tournament and they go on to playing cricket in different areas mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. forward? What's uh, the message to the boys? Um, learn as much as you can. Like for Jaden here, I think Jaden is ready. Uh, when I say ready, I think he's ready to move up to that senior stage uh, and, and expedite his development. Uh, and why I'm saying that is the pace at which he bowls, the control at which he bowls it. He's an excellent fielder. Uh, his batting is still a work in progress. He'd like to think he's an all-rounder. Um, but I think his met mental attributes as well. Uh, I remember Alzari Joseph from um, 2016 when the West Indies won. And I think, I'll say this, he's slightly ahead at a similar stage of where Alzari Joseph was. So for him, uh, for Kimani Melius, it's about getting those guys back in the West Indies system um, and really allowing them to play against folks that are older than them, a little bit more talented than them, so that it stretches them. But this kid is ready to be in and around a senior team setup right now.